I'm Anil Kumar and here is another complicated question to find limits of trigonometric functions. We need to evaluate limit when x approaches pi by 4 for 1 minus tan x divided by 1 minus square root 2 sin x. If I substitute pi by 4 here, tan pi by 4 is 1, right? So we get 1 minus tan pi by 4 divided by 1 minus square root 2 sine pi by 4. Now tan pi by 4 is 1, so we get 1 minus 1. Sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2, so we get 1 over square root 2, and that gives us 0 over 0. Now if it is 0 over 0, it's indeterminate form, so we need to simplify these expressions, trigonometric expressions, and then find the limit. Okay. How do we go about? Now, one part is we could rationalize this denominator. So let's do that. Once we rationalize, we get terms of sine and cosine. We could also write tan as sine over cos. That could be the other way, right? So we'll write this as limit x approaches pi by 2. So we'll write this as 1 minus. Instead of tan, we'll write this as sine x over cos x. And we have here 1 minus square root 2 sine x. We'll rationalize. That is to say, we'll multiply by 1 plus square root 2 sine x. And also divide by 1 plus square root 2 sine x. Perfect. Now, denominator is difference of squares. So we could write this as a limit x approaches, I mean, sorry, pi by 4. Now, let's take this common denominator. So we get cos x minus sin x here. So we have cos x minus sin x divided by cos x. Is that okay? Okay. Now, all this is being multiplied by 1 plus square root 2 sin x. And the denominator, we have difference of squares, which is, let me extend this and write this as 1 minus 2 sine square x. Is that okay? So that is what we get. Now, so this first term should be put in brackets, right? So cos x minus sine x is being multiplied by this term. So I hope this step is clear to you, right? Okay. So we have cos x 1 minus 2 sine square x and here we have 1 plus square root 2 sine x. Now how could you simplify this further? Now 1 minus 2 sine square x is cos 2x. Do you remember that part? Or what you could do is you could write 1 as cos square x plus sine square x either way. So let's go simple way. So we'll write this as sine I mean limit x approaches pi by 4 numerator is cos x minus sine x so you have to think like what kind of substitution or simplification can be done to find the limits of trigonometric functions so what I will do here is I replace 1 with cos square x plus sine square x And here we have minus 2 sine squared x. Is that okay? I could have written this as cos 2x and cos 2x is cos squared x minus sine squared x. So you could do that also. Okay. Anyway, this I think is simpler. Okay. Both give you the same result. So we have cos x minus sine x times 1 plus square root 2 sine x. And what do we get here? We get cos x times cos square x. Now sine square x minus 2 sine square x is minus sine square x. So we get cos square x minus sine square x. Is that okay? If you write cos 2x here, you get cos square x minus sine square x. Same thing. Right. Now this is difference of square, so we can factor this out. So we get limit 
x approaches pi by 4 cos x minus sin x times 1 plus square root 2 sin x divided by cos x times we will write this as cos x plus sin x times cos x minus sin x is it okay now we can simplify by crossing these out so we get limit x approaches pi by 4 1 plus square root 2 sin x divided by so we have cos x times cos x plus sin x okay so so we have simplified to this extent now at this stage we can always substitute pi by 4 and get your answer so what we get here is 1 plus square root 2 sine pi by 4 divided by cos pi by 4 within brackets cos pi by 4 plus sine pi by 4 correct which is 1 plus 2 times sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 divided by cos pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 times 1 over square root 2 plus 1 over square root 2 right okay so so you get you can now simplify this further so you get square root 2 plus you now this becomes square root 2 here right so 2 divided by square root 2 is uh, I'm sorry this is square root 2 I'm sorry this square root 2 so they actually cancel so 1 plus 1 is 2 okay so we get 2 over now here you have 1 over square root 2 and within brackets it is 1 plus 1 which is 2 over square root 2 okay that's simpler so so we get 2 over this 2 and square root 2 times square root 2 is also 2 right so 2 over 2 is 1 so you get 2 as your answer right so so that is how you could actually get the answer so we could write this limit as equal to 2 so as you can see there could be some you know calculations involved but if you go through it slowly I think avoiding mistakes as I could have done at some places you can get the answer clearly I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. It's kind of complicated. Go through it once again and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.